Hello and um, welcome to Pirate 17. And this is a back of Resident Evil Zero. Uh, it's just over a month now to so Resident Evil Six. Well, just under a month, sorry, to Resident Evil Six. Um, it was yesterday, exactly yesterday. It was the 2nd of October. That's the 3rd today. So, just under, well, a day under a month. So I've got a lot to do. Hopefully I'll get it done. If I don't, uh, I'll just carry on. Because some people might not be getting it straight away. See, the thing is, uh, with it, I'm really unsure, to be honest. From stuff, some of the stuff I've heard, but then... Maybe it's because... Not that I'm criticising anybody's opinions here. Maybe it's because we're expecting it to be survival horror, but we're not looking at it from a, a action aspect. Um, but still saying that, uh, if you look at Resident Evil 5, it was awful in some places. Uh, it did have some a couple of flaws, really. Uh, to get back to Resident Evil 0, a lot of this is identical to well, Resident Evil 2, the underground laboratory in Resident Evil 2. Uh, but I think this is in a different place. It's the same, you know. Well, Umbrella, are, if you've played most of the games on it, you'll know they're for. They're very, they like to recreate things. Uh, there's several different versions of the mansion in Resident Evil 1. I think there's in Code Veronica, there will be. Um, and there's one in the DLC for Resident Evil 5. Oh, bloody hunter. Oh, I didn't even see. I bet there's another one. I can't see, but I think there's something there. Oh, yeah. I couldn't quite see around that corner, but I thought I heard seen something moving. Those swines. I think that's the last of the hunters now. I don't remember any... Oh, no, I think there's one more, actually, uh, in a little bit. Actually, no, I don't think there is. What I'm thinking of is um, when we get the elevator acted in a mi activated in a minute... Um, there's like different paths you can take, and I think there's one in one of the paths there. Um, but I don't think there's anything we need uh, down that path. From it, as I, with this part, I'm just going on what I remember, and it's not a lot. So I just remember there's like a little place. Uh, I think it leads back to somewhere, um, and there's a hunter waiting for you. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong, uh, but. I don't think there's anything we need. I think it's just like a, uh, some shotgun shells, so I probably won't go that way unless I really need to. And um, we just need to put the key in it. I'll call the platform up. Uh, the platform thing's pretty similar to Resident Evil 2, uh, as you can see now. Only difference is the car is not there. That little truck thing you, can, you sat in in Resident Evil 2. really annoying there's some grenade ammo and I don't have the space it really is annoying but I think that really just gives it a bit more of a as I said before a survival or horror aspect really well, we might need that magnum if I remember correctly I know that, I think there's a tyrant coming up soon as well I um, mean I can't quite remember where if I'm going by what I remember of uh, Umbrella Chronicles, and it, if that's the case, it come up around this platform area. Um, so I'm guessing that's where it's going to come, but I could be wrong. Umbrella Chronicles and this, I mean, yeah, it's telling the story of this, but the, the, you know, some of the events are a bit all over the place. To, well, to a certain extent, I think it's pretty accurate, but there are some, uh, you know, mishaps. I would say mishaps. Uh, they've missed a few things out. Um, I don't like the look of this camera angle. Um, oh no, nothing is going to happen, I don't think, then. No, it was trying to think where we got to go now. This is, yet again, looks so similar to Resident Evil 2. Oh, what's up by the elevator? Cutscene. Don't shoot! You're alive. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. 
Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait! I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. Uh, if you play Resident Evil 1, uh, you know why that happens. And why they never meet again. I uh, don't really want to spoil it, but... It's annoying because it's, it's quite a good thing to discuss, but... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. It's, I, I, I can't remember the, the, the Enrico in Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1. I can't remember what he looked like. I know he didn't have a moustache and a beard. Um, did he even... No, he just had a moustache, didn't he, in there? I'm thinking of Barry, uh, the beard. But no, I don't ever remember him having a moustache. Um, oh, I haven't played Resident Evil 1 uh, on PlayStation 1 in a very long time. Well, I don't know, actually. I think it was a couple of years ago. So yeah, I really can't remember what he looks like. I think we just got to go down here now. Yes, I think that's the master key because it looks very similar to other master keys you pick up. Oh, you know what's coming. I remember this now. It actually looked like he was giving you the thing. Well, we call it uh, the finger over here, but in America, I believe it's called flip the bird and um, stuff like that. Um, it actually looked like he was doing that with that one claw. Uh, that guy's very—he's very weak. Uh, not hard to beat at all. If I, I can't, because I think he, I can't remember if he comes back or not. Um, I remember fighting him ages ago, um, and he does lunge, um, if you sort of don't know what you're doing. And I remember, like, I, I can't remember if it was the magnum or the grenade launcher at the time. Um, and he literally lunged at me, and just like within a split second, I fired, and like, he just fell to the floor. It just looked so brilliant. But I, I really can't remember where, if he does come back or not now. But most Resident Evil tyrants do. But it's, I think this is the only Resident Evil that has a tyrant that isn't the main boss. Well, I suppose two technically isn't either. Um, because, well, it depends really, doesn't it? The main scenario, uh, the A scenario, sorry, not the main, because not really. Well, I suppose it, mm, it's debatable whether it's the main scenario or not. But if I actually knew that that bit was accessible, I would have put all the stuff back in there. Um... I was, quite, I, kind of, I was kind of annoyed about that, really, when I found that. Right, I think, where were we? Is it level 3 or 4? Oh, I hit the doors. It's kind of annoying, because you've got to lean... It actually does get um, quite annoying, some of the items on here to pick up. And I hit the door. And I want to hit the buttons, but I, I find... Um, some of the items on here are really hard to pick up, and it keeps selecting other things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and sort of aim more to the corner. Um, actually, I probably should have checked level 2, but I think that's where that hunter was, what I was talking about. I could be wrong. Um, 
Probably should have just checked it, but I, I there's probably I don't think there's probably going to be anything we need. Uh, there might be. I do need to go back and get that grenade launcher and all that actually. Um, but with that shutter down, I don't know if we can get the shotgun back. I, oh, it's right, he's gone. He might come back then. He's got back up. Um, so possibly. Well, at least we can get the shotgun back. That's the main thing. It's a shame you can't go on the other door because I'd really like to see what was on the other side. If it's got like that hub thing where there's like three walkways and that thing in the middle, which I think is called the hub. All right, I think we just need to go down to level four now. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. I personally don't find him amusing, but... Billy, um, well, does he die or not? Find out a bit later on in a couple more parts down the line. Might be in the next part, actually. Might be in this part, actually. I don't know. Alright, that usually means there's leech monsters coming up. Oh, I remember this now. I remember this puzzle so well. You've got to light up all the lights, and oh, it's really, it can be a little bit annoying. Um, because it's only two points, so if you hit one point, it's the next two points will light up because of it. So you've got to get it right. Is this right? I think you do this part first. Now, where do we hit here? Oh, it's looking, yeah. Um, if I remember correctly now, this is really near the end because um, on Umbrella Chronicles, if you played it, um, just before the final boss, it does show a, like a dam type thing uh, you run through. Um, but that does, I don't believe that happens, what happens in Umbrella Chronicles there doesn't happen in this game. Um, so if you've played it and sort of know that, then um, that doesn't actually happen. That sounds like normal zombies, with a bit of luck. Ooh, headshot again. It's not, I mean, in some ways it's a relief when you get a headshot on them, because... Ah, oh, you little swine. Well, I, I... To be honest, I don't... I, I wasn't really paying attention there. Just drop my shotgun off here actually and go and get the um, canister. I, ju I just, I know, well, I, I don't really want to risk anything with them leech zombies because they are so deadly. Right. Just 
need to put it with a bottle. And we got some cocktails. Just need to find a way to get the shotgun back in our inventory. I can't even remember what I think. Actually, I probably could have went and got the hunting shotgun uh, or hunting rifle from where we were uh, using the elevator. But as I said, I think I said uh, it really wasn't worth picking it back up. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something going to. Well, let's go on ahead. I think if we go on ahead, see what's uh, in front and then in the next door. I mean, if there's nothing, we'll pick the shotgun back up. Oh, that was a good call. He's bloody fried, and he's what? That really does annoy me. The thing's like on fire, and he still wants to have a munch. Well, at least I didn't let, like Rebecca this time. Uh, if you want to know what that's referring to, is when I can't remember what part it is now. It was a couple of parts back. Um, I accidentally threw a mortal of cocktail as Billy, and it hit Rebecca. I really can't remember how much, I really don't believe there's much more to go, um, I just can't remember much more after this, I think we're right near the end now, which is great, but it, it doesn't feel very long, I expect if I sat and watched all the videos I've, parts I've done, um, it would take me obviously a few hours to watch them all, but it just doesn't feel that long, um, I don't even think this, I don't think this game has a ranking or a time thing on it, uh, I could be wrong on that. I don't ever remember seeing a ranking screen. Right, I'll see in this ne what's in door number two. That really wasn't fun. Oh, zombies. I kind of wish, um, in some ways with these Resident Evils, that you... How can I put it? That you could pick up, like, snooker cues and start, like, if you've got no ammo and stuff. More like Outbreak. I kind of that's one of the things I really loved about Out Outbreak that anything went really. Well, there wasn't a lot of ammo uh, to be fair, and that kind that kind of felt realistic um, on that. But that was I don't know because I I've read a you know I've read a, people saying a lot of good things about it, but I do hear that I've read some negative comments towards it, and it you know I think I might have said this before actually uh, somewhere. Um, I think it's one of the best Resident Evil games I've played, really. Outbreak File 2. One's good, I just prefer two because of the content you get with it, really. Scenario wise, I think one's better, um, but like unlockables and stuff. And challenging, I think two's a bit more challenging, uh, to be honest. Uh, that's pretty much the end of this part, so thank you very much for watching.